Alright, how's it going, guys? Welcome to the Red Wolf Ch <laughs> How's it going, guys? Welcome to the Red Wolf Channel. My name is Red Wolf, and today we're going to be playing a little bit of World of Tanks, just rolling out in the T-32. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into a game with this. Uh, T-32 is kind of like the T-29 in respect to Hull and Turrent. Turrent is the star of the show. Hull is kind of what you keep below the ground, and um, you try and not show the enemy but the thing that I that's what I hate I hate that about these American tanks these upper tier American tanks gotta keep that hull low and on maps such as this one right here this mountain pass it's damn near impossible because there's no really any like bumps or slopes that are shallow enough but high enough for you to uh, you know keep your hull below not to mention the gun depression on this thing just is terrible. And I'm surprised anyone's got a star on this thing, but uh, yeah. I got my little, uh, my Texas flag and that little star thing. I don't know what that is, but you know, customization, customization, customization. So let's look here, see which flank is the weaker flank. We're going to go and support that. Is everyone going to go down here? Holy shit! Focus on this location. Holy shit! We j we just left that entire flank open, guys. We just left that entire flank open. This is the problem with some players. Thank God, an object four one six is coming along with me. Like holy crap! You guys, this is what I mean. You guys can't all go in one direction. Guys, if you play World of Tanks on 360, Xbox One, or PC, you know, you gotta support both flanks. You know exactly how the map layout is, you know exactly which paths everyone's gonna take. Now, what if their entire team, like our team, went down this path that I'm going down right now? Our base would be open and we would get raped from behind. But if we actually play it strategically and go both flanks evenly, we have a better su chance of success, a better chance of winning, force is spread out evenly so that way each one gets a push now of course you know medium tanks and light tanks they're supposed to be able to move fast and support heavy tanks they got to stay on the flank that they're at because I mean they're not going to be able to move all too fast heavy tanks are the brute force the front line medium tanks are to reinforce the heavy tanks you know tank destroyers stay back you know you know exactly what it is if you play world of tanks you know what they're supposed to do you know what you're supposed to do there's only three of us over here. It's me and two medium tanks. Mm, crap. So, actually, we're just gonna sit back here and actually just defend this flank and block them off since there's only three of us. Let's see, where is it? Defend this position. Fuck. This Freedom doesn't fucking know what he's doing. He's like Murica and just charging all up there. Well, if he's gonna do something stupid, he might as well just have fucking backup. Oh yeah, this is what I mean. This is what I fucking mean, guys. You see, look at that. Four versus three. Oh, you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Fuck, how did that miss? See, now this flank's gonna get taken. I had to get in front of these freaking ATs. Fuck. We need artillery support over here, for fuck's sake. Oh, where's the fallback, fallback, fallback button? Get them as they come around the fucking corner, guys. Fuck. Just ding them. See, and there's a lag spike. 
Come on, if we're gonna take this flank... Don't be stupid! Oh my god! Well, I mean, you can't control the people that... You just can't control. There we go. There we go. There we go, guys. That's how it's done. That's how we're supposed to do it. Don't go that way. Don't go that way, you dumb piece of shit. He's down. Okay, let's continue moving up this flank, guys. Come on, come on. No. Oh my fucking god. <sighs> These players are gonna give me a, a fucking aneurysm, I swear to god. I'm gonna wait for him. Who's that guy in the Freedom? Toph Ujusan. Okay, gotta remember that. Gotta remember that. Send that guy your welcome message. You're welcome for the spaced armor. Gonna do it. <laughs> Might even have to look through the replay just to see that. And, of course, his Object 416 didn't fucking wait up for me, so he's probably gonna get blasted the hell out of it. You know... Even though there's only four players left, I have seen four players come back from an entire game. Like, full, like, um, I was on, I was on the enemy team with these four tanks. All of our tanks were still intact, but these four right here took out all of our tanks. They were good. And that just goes to show, if you guys play your tanks right, you can defeat a hell of a force. World of Tanks is supposed to be played strategically. But, I mean, it's sort of an arcade style compared to War Thunder. But, I mean, seriously, guys, if you're in it for the, if you're in it for the W's, if you're in it for the wins, you got to play right. You got to know how to use your tank. You got to know when to use your tank. You got to know what your tank can do, what your tank can handle. Stick in packs. Don't go solo. You're not a lone wolf. Lone wolves get themselves killed. If you leave a tank behind, that tank's gonna die. The tank's gonna die. Or it's not gonna be able to support you because you're five miles ahead and this thing's just chugging along and along and along along at one mile an hour because it's like a Churchill or something. The slowest person in the group is the pace setter. Everyone's gotta go with that slow person. See, look at this, look at this. These three tanks can make it. They can do this. We've got two heavies, they got two heavies, and one medium. Those three mediums on our team can be completely wiped. And then it's just me and the other heavy. And we won. Okay. Even though we won, we didn't play it right and we lost too many tanks that we weren't supposed to. But you know, we got the W, so there's not much to complain about. But still, teamwork in this game is essential to winning. You want to know why you lose? Because all your teammates scatter like rats or people around a person who farted really loud. It's basically how it is. But yeah, T-32 overall, it's a very good tank. Um, it's, again, T-29 with different looks. I mean, it's, it's beautiful, it's sexy, I love the tank. Turret looks good. I mean, it looks more modern, honestly and seriously. We should still have tanks like these. But, uh, you know, we got the Abrams. I don't really like the look of the Abrams. Uh, I like the older tank looks because they just... They're so damn sexy. I mean, just look at this thing. 
This screams Vietnam. <laughs> Anyways, even though that probably might be a good, th might not be a good thing, but I mean, Vietnam, while granted a horrible war, we had a lot of uh, advancements in our weaponry and stuff like that during the Vietnam and after the Vietnam War and all that stuff. I mean, beginning of the Vietnam War, I believed we used uh, Shermans, but then we moved to, like, you know, the Bulldogs and all that stuff, and I don't know if the T-32 was tank info. Okay, 1945, so... 1940s, not really Vietnam, but I mean, it looks like a Vietnam era tank. It really does. But still, it's a sexy, sexy tank, and I love my Texas flag on it, and I love my little diamond. If you guys can afford to customize your tanks, brah, do it. It it just adds that much more to it. I mean, and they make it to where, you know, you can only, you have to spend real money, so it just makes your customization that much more personal. And I really do like the way that Wargaming done that, and uh, I appreciate them for, you know, making this game, making this wonderful game. Uh, available to us on the consoles and stuff like that and you know it, it probably looks even better on Xbox One probably gonna be getting that pretty soon and I'm gonna continue to play this game because it's just that awesome anyways um, yeah so T32 tank guys highly recommend you get it and keep it T29 same thing get it and keep it these two tanks are just iconic American heavy tanks and they're like the best for their tier. They really are. The M110, whatever it is after this tank. Uh, look at that armor, though. I'm telling you right now, mo most of the armor in the T32 is in the turret. But, I mean, look at the M103. It's probably even on both hull and turret. And, you know, you're going to have to change your complete playstyle around. So really, I'm not looking forward to Tier 9, but, you know, Tier 8's where it's at. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of gameplay. Uh, you know, I'm, I told you guys I was going to get another video out. It's probably going to be over World of Tanks. And it is over World of Tanks, so here you go, guys. And uh, in the video that I just uploaded, um, I said bitter instead of donator. And I misspelled donator in the video, but anyways... Um, again, there's my sleep deprivation and coffee-fueled uh, video editing skills right there. Yeah, I just wanted to clear that up just in case people thought I was going to be selling this stuff. No, it's a giveaway. Um, no, to the highest donator. There we go. Got it right. And, you know, you guys already know the details of what it's going to be, but when it's going to be, that's the secret. And, uh, yeah. So... Remember, you guys, to become part of the pack, which you only got to do four things to do that, and here are the four things. Subscribe, rate, comment, and like. Those are the four things you got to do, and then guess what? You're part of the pack. I welcome you to my family, and that's how it is. You know, is. I'm hoping by the end of this month we at least get up to maybe 100 subscribers. I will do with 50, you guys. I mean, 50 is awesome enough. I mean, I'm not in the subscriber race, I just do this for fun, but, you know, I'd like to know that, you know, my effort that goes into these videos is noticed. And, uh, so far it has been noticed, and I want it to get more noticed. And, um, yeah, so, you guys have a good day, night, wherever you are. I'll catch you later.